Hey everybody, Matt Carr, 1877 here. For another NASCAR news video, we're going to talk a little bit about the Michigan race this weekend. Uh, so, uh, what my picks will be for this race. Uh, since now that, you know, if, if you've been following this channel for any time, you know, from the Coca-Cola 600 to July 4th weekend for the Coke Zero 400, I do, I pick a driver to win in honor of, you know, the military and veterans. So, uh, this week... I, I didn't do it in the NASCAR news video after Pocono. I later on realized that, so I'm going to do it now. So, um, you know, Michigan's a tough racetrack. It's actually the fastest track on the NASCAR circuit now, you know, since they added restrictor plates at Daytona and Talladega. So Michigan is the fastest racetrack. But if we look at what happened there previously, the second, in fact, Kyle Larson, I believe, has won the last three races there uh, out of his five career races. And uh, one of another one of those wins, came at Auto Club, which is very similar to Michigan. Uh, not exactly the same, but they're both two miles. Uh, you know, Auto Club and Michigan, they're both two-mile racetracks. I mean, Larson's won four two-mile racetracks and a Richmond race. So, I think Larson's always won. You, you can't count out when you go to Auto Club or Michigan. And since he's won the last three races at Michigan, you definitely can't count him out there. Actually, got his first win at Michigan in 2016. So, I think he could be the favorite to win, but we also got to look at somebody else. Joey Logano always runs up front usually. You know, usually on the final restart, he's up there. Same thing with Chase Elliott. He just, you know, Chase Elliott just always seemed to spin his tires on those late race restarts if they have one, which a lot of times they do. Um, so Chase Elliott's usually up there. He could also be one to watch. So uh, once again, a lot of young guns seem to do good at this racetrack. Once again, Larson's won the last three. Logano does a pretty good job. Chase Elliott's usually right up there at the front. He's led a bunch of laps at Michigan. But then if we go back and look what the drivers have done the rest of this year, Truex Jr. also wanted a two-mile racetrack. Now, I know it's not Michigan, but Auto Club is very similar to Michigan. They're both two miles. They both kind of have that same little oval texture to it. It's, it's basically a very, very similar racetrack. So Truex Jr. won that. Bush was, you know, up in there. He was... Also a pretty good race car, even though Bush has had horrible history at Michigan. He always seems to have a bad day there, whether it's, you know, his fault. Uh, a couple years ago at Michigan, I believe it was raining, and he got in a wet spot and went up and hit the wall, and sometimes he just, you know, doesn't do good there. Uh, that's that's one of his tough tracks. So I don't think Bush, I'm not saying that he's not going to run good, but I don't think this is going to be a weekend where he can win. Not saying that he won't, but I just don't think he will. But obviously you can never count out Harvick at any track so far this year. I mean, he's been good at every, at just about every racetrack, uh, even short tracks, two-mile tracks. So he's done good at, you know, every racetrack so far this year. But uh, once again, I think the ones you really need to watch are, you know, obviously keep an eye on Harvick and see what he's doing and Bush because they've been absolutely dominant this year and let's hope Bush doesn't mess up. And, and I know I might be wearing, I'm wearing a Jimmy Johnson hat, by the way, uh, but don't worry, I have bunch of Kyle Busch hats. He's my favorite NASCAR driver, 100%, not Jimmy Johnson at all. But um, just remember, you can never count out Bush, never count out Harvick at any racetrack so far this year, but I think ones you really need to watch, Larson, Logano, and Elliott. Elliott might get the lead, but I just believe he's going to mess up. I just don't, I can't see him actually winning, and uh, Logano's done uh, pretty good this year so far, but uh, I'm going to pick the winner in honor of, you know, the military veterans and stuff, I'm going to pick the winner to be Kyle Larson. I'm going to go ahead and say I think Kyle Larson will win at Michigan. And, uh, hey, we'll see how it turns out. So that's pretty much it. And uh, you know, hopefully Larson wins so I can get my pick right. And uh, hopefully Bush doesn't do bad because he's my favorite driver. But um, that's about it. And if you're not first, you're last.